BC Ferries is one of the largest marine transportation companies in the world. Vehicle and foot traffic sail on the iconic ships up and down the long west coast of Canada. As a vital transportation provider, the company must quickly adapt to new technologies and regulations while maintaining safety, reliability and passenger comfort. They're working on a rigorous 15-year plan to upgrade and replace their ships and terminals. Fran Hobbes is BC Ferries' Manager of Corporate Services. It's her job to ensure the day-to-day -day building operations run smoothly, often preparing for the ebbs and flows of the company's capital projects and the contractors that come with them. The sooner you can get your teams up and running and, and operating at full capacity, the more productive you're going to be. And at the end of the day, you know, that's what this business and all others are really about. An important part of BC Ferries' mission was to bring three divisions spread across three buildings into one new building that would be adaptable for their 15-year plan and beyond. To help turn their physical space into a strategic asset, they chose dirt movable walls and spider plug-and-play electrical solutions. We did some cost-benefit analysis, you know, comparing the, the outright purchase cost to um, how and when it would pay for itself and it w didn't take a lot to come to the conclusion that um, it was really from a financial perspective a much better way to go to address the, the, the mobility and the, and the churn issues that we've had historically. The biggest challenge that we had right off the bat was the fact that the developer required complete drawings a year before the occupancy and I mean no company is static uh, we had to continue to uh, uh, design, work with the uh, requirements of the end user, and yet produce drawings. Using movable walls, we were able to submit drawings to the developer so that he could move ahead with the building. You know, we were adjusting right up until the 11th hour, and it was very comforting to know that, you know, the system would allow us to do that. We took out a couple offices, we changed an area to a meeting room, and then within a month of moving in, they needed three more offices. BC Ferries isn't the only beneficiary of having an agile building interior. The building is owned by Jaw Properties. Their vice president of properties is Wayne Ford. Everything mo is moving quicker and quicker in our society, and tenants in particular. One day they're this, and the next day they're that. Uh, a lot of them don't even have time to plan, never mind you know, we explain to them, oh, well, okay, we're going to get that. Now i got to get the electrical consultant, the mechanical consultant, all these consultants. I need all these people in there. Now i got to do plans. Now I'm going to need a building permit. That's another eight, ten weeks. Oh, by the way, this and that and the other thing. And no, it's not going to be ready by Friday. As a landlord continually dealing with these issues, Jaw Properties saw the investment value of owning a building with an adaptable interior for current and future tenants. The idea of the capital cost for the initial uh, improvement versus drywall, we can say to them, okay, we can address this in a couple of ways. First of all, we'll just amortize it over the lease term, or we'll buy the drywall, or pardon me, the uh, movable wall system, and amortize it over the lease term. Then you don't have a capital cost. We would, but we are long-term landlords. We don't, we don't develop to build to sell. We develop to build to keep. One of the difficult hurdles in getting space built out in the first place is communication. Most people don't have the training to read design drawings. Even those who can often have to present to other stakeholders in the project who cannot. Yet decisions must be made. DIRT uses a software program called ICE to communicate across the board in real time 3D. That was a huge asset. It really helped me verify what the final look was going to be and then to have the 3D walkthrough was really advantageous for the client to be able to show the executive what the space was going to look like and also working with the developer and the architect as well. ICE goes beyond an envisioning tool. The information in the vivid video game-like experience is actually full of pricing and manufacturing information. Any changes made to the design are instantly updated from the 3D image to a barcode ready for the production facility at DIRT. Wasted time, human error, and miscommunication are all negated with ICE. It really presents the tenant with a better idea of what can happen quicker if you can sit down with the tenant and design it than doing the old, okay, let's do revision 65 and let's see what that looks like. The building is designed and built to achieve LEED Gold. 
Though the current commercial interior lead system does not directly award credits for adaptable interiors or modular power solutions, dirt walls and spider plug-and-play cabling are excellent choices for true environmental sustainability. It has always felt wrong to see bins of drywall and wiring and other things hauled off to a landfill somewhere. Drywall, which is typical construction, right now is becoming very expensive to dispose of in, in landfills. And I don't doubt that one day you're not going to be able to dispose of it. And then you're going to have to ship it someplace or some other guy is going to charge you a, a lot of money to do something with it. So that right now, it's, there's a marginal cost for the removal wall system, but in what time period will the, will the cost of drywall, not so much the purchase of the drywall and the construction, but the overall cost of it uh, from uh, construction to termination. It's just generally part of good corporate citizenship, uh, we think, to be, to be looking at how you act environmentally. So, you know, it's a really good news story for BC Ferries. Values are, if they're just words on a website somewhere, they have absolutely no meaning whatsoever. So it's important to actually walk and talk them. We moved all of their furniture from Cary Road over to the new building and the operations center already had dirt walls and we were able to move the dirt walls from their Fort Street location and simply add an extra stack on piece uh, to come up to the nine foot high uh, ceiling. As with all successful companies, the look and feel of the space is important to attracting and retaining the best employees. It's a delicate balance to get the best design without tipping the price of real estate and operations. And I think there was a lot of worry about people being in small offices or small workspaces or uh, how that would feel and um, it's really completely the opposite. We were trying to introduce a newer look for sort of the evolving uh, demographics in, uh, in the company and we combined both the use of the light woods and the metal and glass. We've already noted about a 25 percent uh, improvement in attendance and I think it's because it feels like a healthy place. Building out a high performance space is more than the sum of its parts. For DIRT, the relationship with our clients and providing them with unique solutions rather than standardized products is the most important company philosophy. I feel m much less like a customer than a partner. Um, this is a long-term future relationship and I have a lot of faith in, in, the, in the, the values of the company and the fact that I feel like I'm, although I feel like I'm a very special customer, I suspect I'm treated just like every other customer. These walls are what, you know, contain us and uh, I think people just generally are pleased to be here and, and that has a lot to do with I think the products we've used and of course the biggest one is, is the modular walls.